welcome to Voices for Fun with Mona Marshall. Today I am going to give you a very special tip about how to use voice placement to enhance improvisation. And I just used this the other night at South Park. Now, for some of you, you may know that South Park is sometimes I'm matching lips and I'm doing things, you know, matching sync. Sometimes I'm not. Why placement and improv are important is because for instance, if they need background and there are a bunch of little kids and they need different voices for those kids, not only they need different voicements, <laughs> voices, but different placements, right? Because that's where the different voices are going to come from and attitude, but they each have to improvise in a different way. So that's what they needed Tuesday night for a bunch of little girls. So once they gave me, well, okay, this is what's happening, then I began to think, okay, I could do one little girl like this and she's got an attitude like that and I could begin talking about what was going on. Okay, need another voice. Now, I took and used a little bit of guttural voice. Remember this voice? And now I had a little girl that had attitude like this because all those girls in South Park have attitude but they have to have different rhythms and especially different placements. And then I got into the old, ooh, adenoidal, remember? That's using the nasal and pushing it forward like a cold, and she's a little shyer, so she was talking a little more slowly, but she was just as adamant and just as defensive. Got it? So, once I got what the scenario was, I begin, began to think as different characters, but the characters in this instance, because I knew they were gonna need more than one, I thought, okay, how can I do different voices by using my improvisation skills, my magic, but especially my placement. And had a blast. And I think it shows if you listen carefully. Bye for now.